Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today in this video I'll be showing you how to make this very simple and beautiful shorts and uh, hope you know that I have opened a fashion designing institute. In my institute, uh, my student made this uh, shorts for their kids and you can see this is a customized so shorts for like 8 to 9 year old girl and these are some shorts made for their kids and uh, let me show you some of the collections and this was made by a weekend batch and you can see this is my favorite and they have attached some buttons and they also gave some lace underneath and I totally loved it and also sorry for a really long break I was been a little bit busy with my institute and uh, today in this video I'm going to show you how to make this shorts and it goes for both girls and for the boys and to make this I have took a poplin fabric which is a cotton fabric of half a meter and I'm making this shorts for one to two years old and you can always alter this according to your kids size okay all you need is just two measurement that's it so the two measurements are the length of the shorts and the hip of the shorts okay so you need just these two measurements to make uh, shorts according to your size or according to your kids size and so now the length is like 7 inches and the hip is 20 inches the hip 20 inch includes the seat not only the hip you have to take the measurement around the seats okay so now I took the length of like 7 inches and hip to be 20 inches so to the 20 inches I'm adding 10 inch for ease okay so the total length would be 30 inches okay so the circumference of the uh, hip is like 30 inches now that 30 inches is going to be divided by 4 that is the fabric is folded in 4 times so I'm just going to divide it that by 4 so when I divide that 30 by 4 uh, you'd be getting answer like 7.5 so that 4 inch is like uh, number 4 is like folding the fabric in 4 as I told so 30 divided by 4 is 7.5 and 0.5 for stretch and the total is going to be 8 inches okay so the 10 inches standard for everyone and the 10 inch is the like from one year till like 20 to 25 years old the 10 inch is going to be the same so first let me mark the length of the shorts so the length of the shorts as I told is like 7 inches from the top so just leave a marginal amount fabric at the bottom and also at the top for folding and for the elasticating the fabric and now I'm going to draw a straight line for that 7 inches like this. So the length is 7 inch. Now I'm marking the hip. The hip is going to be 8 inches. So from the top part I'm going to mark that 8 inches which includes the seam allowance. Now let me draw a straight line like this. And now here I'm going to divide the length into three parts so this is going to be the length so the length divided by 3 so when I divide the length divided by 3 is 2.3 inches now I'm going to give the uh, 2.3 inch in like three parts just I'm dividing the length into three parts first part second part and the third part okay so all you need is the two part for the crotch okay so till the two second part I'm going to go like 1.5 inch in and I'd be drawing a straight line again and I'll be curving that in for the crotch area so the length is divided into three parts and take the two part and you're going to give that for the crotch like this okay so now this is going to be the width of the hip and the length of the shorts okay so now I'm going to give the folding uh, elements so now I'm just going to mark the folding to be like uh, one inch and let me draw a straight line for this project I'm going to use a one inch of elastic 
so I'm going to give like two inch for the folding so the top I'm going to elasticate the shorts and for that I'm going to give two inch okay so now I'm going to cut into this and let me show you how to cut this so on this uh, down part I'm going to uh, slant the line and uh, I'll be cutting this out okay so let me cut this out like such so you can alter this according to your size all you need is only two measurements the length and also the seat measurement the circumference of your seat and now it's going to go all the way up okay and I'm going to trim this out so I'm going to slant this line a small slanting over this point and let me cut this out okay so now let me show you how to stretch this together and also you need a four parts of this so if you have a folded edge just make sure that you cut into like this and you take four piece like such so the first key thing to join the shots in a very simple and really easy method is like joining the down part together that's going to be the first stretch that you're going to make so just make sure you have two parts like this you're going to join the down part okay so you're going to just put a stretch over here so the tricky thing in while making your shots is the way you stretch that together so now I'm going to join like such and once it's done you're going to join the crotch part okay that would be the second stretch so let's go ahead and show you how to stretch that together so the first stretch is going to stretch the down part like this so you're going to do the same to the next side also okay join the pieces together and you're going to sew that like this So that's going to be the stretch number one and the second thing is going to open the pieces like this and make sure you match both the pre sides together and make sure that both the stretch line is matched together and you're going to join the crutch part so this is going to be your second stretch so joining the crutch like this would be the second part okay make sure it should be a smooth and neat curve like a U so once after joining the crutch make sure you join the sides together so the line should be straight the crotch line should be straight like this and now you're going to join the raw edge uh, like this like you're going to double fold the raw edge one fold and another fold for one inch okay and it should be a straight stretch like this so following the stretches like this will make your work really simple and neat because uh, stretching is a very important thing in while making a shorts okay so now uh, I'm going to stretch nice and neat like this so once it's be done you're going to join the pieces together like this so you can see now uh, we are done with a 90% of our shorts so start with some back stretch and end with the back stretch okay you're going to go all the way up and same you're going to do to the next side also okay and then 
you're going to uh, do the same to the uh, hip part you're going to add some elastic to that so I'm going to double fold the top part of the shorts so it's going to have a one fold and it be having another fold to for one inch okay so one inch of elastic will look really nice and neat it will look exactly like a ready-made shorts and I'd be stretching on top like this and make sure leave a two inch of opening for inserting the elastic into the shorts okay so I'm using a contrasting color thread so uh, you can see where I'm stretching the shorts okay that will be visible for you people and now uh, I'll be leaving a two inch of opening to insert my elastic and now it's done so to the two inch of gap I'd be adding a safety pin on top and I'd be uh, inserting the elastic so the elastic measurement it would be like four inch minus your hip so the standard measurement of the hip is for this project is 20 inches and I have minus four inch from that so now my elastic uh, is like um, 16 inches so now once it's been inserted you're going to stretch the elastic both to the wrong side like this make sure you add multiple uh, back stretch to make that in place so now it's ready So once it's done, ease the fabric, just ease it down, okay. So just tuck the elastic in and close the fabric and you're going to put a top stretch like such. Okay. And once it's done, you can see how beautiful it is. Very, very simple and very, very easy to make. We made a very cute shot within 10 minutes. And uh, hope you will like this video. And if you like this video and if you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And also don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button below. See you next time with a different kind of video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.